Last time on Lazy Geckos. Our kids came out to Florida from sunny California. We made sure to experience all the perks that Florida has to offer while spending time together. We also got to answer your questions. All well, doing it in true gecko style. take a quick second and thank all you guys uh, over the last two weeks we got some new new ones and I wanted to personally take a moment and thank Harold Dennis and Randy we also have Captain Matt Christian and Chris three C's Wow um, thank you for becoming a part of the group and supporting us and showing an interest in what we do we really appreciate it we have looked into a couple of you and realized that some of you are actually doing the same thing that we are. Awesome, we support you guys fully. We'd love to conversate back and forth with you guys. Some of you should be getting your gifts here soon in the mail, t-shirts, pictures. You also have like first priority for questions. Lyle and Cheryl, thank you again for upping your support amount. I know we've recently emailed with you guys. It was really nice to go through that email with, with thought and caring in our hearts and we took some time to respond to you and it was really enjoyable for us. So anyways, I hope you guys all enjoy your weekend and this video. See you later. Well, we're pretty excited. Tonight is the first night on the boat. Um, we haven't officially paid the rest of the amount that we owe but um, we're supposed to tomorrow we just wanted to spend a night on the boat and it's going pretty well we sailed it today that was awesome um, pretty like surreal that the moment has come and we're now on our boat O'Days are made for the average sailor and are known to be a deep water cruiser designed for the open waters. Since there have been more than 40,000 O'Days that have sailed off the production line, they are one of the most recognized boat manufacturing names in the world. We really did like the functionality of the O'Day. Here we are, we just uh, had our first morning on the boat and uh, so what this trip has been is we uh, agreed to, we had put the deposit down, had the boat inspected and everything, uh, then we agreed to meet, uh, come down to Miami, stay the night on the boat, and then we're going to meet with the owner today and 
give them the money. Sailing was awesome. Uh, I drove and was able to handle holding Reese in my lap. You know, he had a life jacket on, of course, and drive, and he was able to work the sails. Yeah. Unfortunately, we ended up making the decision to pass on the O'Day at literally the very last second. We just didn't get enough of a warm and fuzzy feeling as we tried the boat out. But like I said, we did enjoy the O'Day, and we do look forward to seeing more of them out there while on the open waters. Fair winds, deja vu. We hope to see you out there. Update. We were going to view two boats before we went out to Texas for the Whippy 42 that I really wanted. Um, well, that day we were also viewing a Whippy 47, I mean 37, um, and a Newport 41. So we were viewing them the day before Jeremiah was supposed to leave for Texas. Um, we really just viewed the Whippy 37 to give me a better idea of what they kind of looked like as far as the wood and uh, different, just how they did their boats. And it turns out we went there and we loved the boat. Who would have thought? Much smaller than I wanted. Um, but we're very excited. It is ready to go. It has everything you could possibly think of um, a lot of extras it's beautiful the people lived on it part of the year for the last seven years they are the second owners it's an older couple they really took care of their boat they really love their boat we love that we are going to do the sea trial right now and the survey um, we actually stayed the night up in Jacksonville so we'd be closer and we did not sleep at all. Are you tired, honey? Mm -hmm. How long did you sleep? Not an hour. <sighs> an hour, but Reese got some sleep. He was snuggled right up between us. Um, all right, so we will take you along on the survey and sea trial with us. See you later. We initially found our boat on sailboatlistings.com. As I said, after viewing her, we immediately fell in love with her and felt as if the boat was worthy to schedule a survey. The boat had beautiful lines. She was wonderfully cared for by a great older couple that just loved and adored her. Our lady had tons of extras that made her seaworthy in every way. When picking a marine surveyor, it is very important to pick the right person for the job that you need. We were really blessed to have found such a wonderful surveyor like we did. We used Jim Campbell out of Jacksonville, Florida. He is a local in this area and is well known for his knowledge and many years of experience within the boating community. Jim Campbell was very informative, thorough, he took his time, and offered reasonable rates. He checked the engine several times, which we really liked. After the survey was complete, he took us aside and gave us his recommendations on the boat, both good and bad. And fortunately, with this boat, it was pretty much all good. 
We highly recommend Jim as a marine surveyor if you are in the Jacksonville area. We've also begun searching for a marina in the Port St. Lucie area, which we will call our temporary home while we attend school in May. But not before we take some time to head down to the Keys and cruise the Florida coast. Right now I'm walking into Michael's Arts and Crafts store. I am going to attempt to make Reese's own mobile for his crib, which I will also hang in his um, V-berth or the cabin, wherever we end up putting him. I will end up hanging the mobile in there. Uh, I'm going to make it all myself. So it saves us a lot of money and I would still like him to have the experience of having his own room decorated. Um, I really wanted to do that. That was a little bit saddening to me when we decided to go sail, um, I wasn't able to do a bedroom for him because we're constantly jumping around and getting rid of all our stuff. So I am going to start making stuff for his room now that can also be put in his room on the boat. And it is going to be made out of anchors and sailing things and sailboats and those colors of that nature. I'm gonna go check and see if Michaels has what I need. All right, see you later. I'm so excited to begin to build items for Reese's room, as I really enjoy doing crafts and personalizing the areas of which we live. After a few days of searching, I was able to get all the pieces that I needed. I initially wanted to do the mobile myself so I could have something of good quality at a much lower cost compared to purchasing it at a store. After it was all said and done, we ended up spending a total of $26. I was able to incorporate the nat hitch and the Davy knot to ensure that the ends were secure, and it also gave me a chance to learn how to do some sailing knots. My husband came up with the genius idea to use his wedding ring to balance all the strings. See ladies, men are good for other things besides, well, you know. Anyway, it was such a pleasure to build this for our little boy and seeing his room start to come together is awesome. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to take pictures and videotape the mobile so I can put it on Facebook because I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> And I want to be dead center with it. Yeah, how's it working? Wonderfully. Can you just wind it for me? <laughs> now that we have our boat, we can relax with the searching and really focus on spending time with our family before we head off into the sunset. My mom and I took this sweet painting class at Painting with a Twist and it just so happened to be the nautical theme. I look forward to finding an area within our boat where I can hang this little piece of art. Jeremiah is working on one of our first projects for the boat, which is making it functional with three dogs and a baby. So he is working on a ramp for our doggies. Let's go check it out. Hello there. Hey. Just in time. Oh, what are you working on? Uh, well, it's done now. Oh, nice. This is the ramp. The ramp. Yeah. 
For what? Let's see if it works. Oh, for the dogs. Uh, to get up the companion way. Um, you know, it's a pain in the butt to lift them and right out, like, when you come in our companion way, you know, you obviously get the ladder and then the uh, bulkhead is not too far down. So I measured out, it's 50 and a half inches. So what I thought about doing was, you know, just getting like a ramp and then we could stow it somewhere and we figured it's best uh, if we keep the ramp can fold in half. So I'm trying to put a ramp together that we can fold in half that won't break when our 50 pound bulldog goes on it. So this is the first uh, trial ramp. This is uh, some marine grade plywood with some uh, basically front door mat on it. You can see a hinge in the middle and then I'm a uh, engine max, so of course I had to put some bolts into this thing. <laughs> I'm not really a wood maker, whatever, woodworker. So we'll see, go up like that. And then two pieces of oak that I'm hoping will uh, support the weight like this. So we'll see. Then I have some more oak that I'm gonna put on the bottom, the top two rails, I'm gonna do it at, um, when we're on the boat, that will fit over the little lip on the companion way and also on the bulkhead. So it will kind of snap into place so it won't slide on down. But I'm gonna see if the dogs will go up it. <laughs> gonna try? Okay. And let's try. I'm following you. All right. Come on, Corey. Come here. Come. Come here. Next time on The Lazy Geckos. Everything is finalized and we begin to move on to The Lazy Gecko. We spend time cleaning, organizing, baby proofing, and making our new home dog friendly. But most importantly, we share our first night with you guys, our viewers. Mm -hmm.